So how in the world do you book loads for your trucks? Well, in today's video, we're going to be actually giving you a step by step or I will be giving you step by step instructions on how to book loads, negotiate with brokers and actually get confirmations for our trucks. As most of you already know, we are fully operational in Atlanta, Georgia. Our warehouse is up and running. We are starting to do LTL into Canada and we have hired our first batch of drivers in Atlanta, Georgia. So we do have a lease operator, two owner operators and a company driver working out of Atlanta. To Georgia. Now, before I get into the booking of loads, very, very important, we have to talk a little bit about the cost per mile. Extremely important for anybody out there that's booking loads, you have to know what your cost per mile is. So when I open up this map over here, I need to route my truck in Atlanta, Georgia, and then I need to route him to the pickup. And from the pickup, I need to get him back into the Concord terminal. So we are doing LTL from Atlanta, Georgia, 50 mile radius, and we are going to be taking any LTL from the Atlanta region going into Canada. So by doing that, I have to know what my cost per mile is and I will run you a scenario on how to calculate a cost per mile. So you remember this beautiful little graph over here that I created long ago. Basically, it tells you the difference of trucks. So you have the flat nose trucks, more aerodynamic trucks, and you have trucks running at 5.5 miles per gallon all the way at the top, all the way to nine miles per gallon on the top right. Then you have fuel prices. So today's fuel prices fall along the in between the $3.75 and $4 per gallon so if you take our trucks right now in our fleet the miles per gallon is about approximately our, our, our fleet average is about eight but i like I, i'd like to take 7.5 so 50 cents per mile is what it costs us to run a truck so very, very important is your cost per mile so you have your fuel you have your driver's pay which is 65 cents per mile you have your insurance which is about 18 cents per mile i took that just by you know taking two thousand dollars dividing it by eleven thousand miles and then your truck payment i took three thousand dollars divided by 11,000 miles. So I like to do my cost per mile into an actual mile analysis. So let's start off from the beginning. I think I confused everybody. When I take my cost per mile, I take all of my expenses, my major expenses, and I divide them into 11,000 miles. Why? Because one of our company trucks, I need to know that it runs 11,000 miles per month and I need to get the cost per mile. So anybody out there that's doing these calculations, I would take 11,000 miles if you're doing a long haul truck driver as a single truck driver. I know drivers can do 12, 13 and 13 and a half thousand miles, but I like to take an average over the course of 12 months, 11,000 miles. The cost per mile for fuel for us, I would say is about 50 cents per mile. Driver's pay is 65 cents per mile. The insurance, the way I got to the insurance is that, you know, as I got quoted, the insurance prices in Atlanta, Georgia, I would say on average, it was probably $2,000 per truck per month, $24,000 a year. So if you take $2,000 and divide it by 11,000 11, miles, you will get 18 cents per mile. Same thing about your truck payment. So the way I did the truck payment, on average, I see probably $3,000 truck payments and I divide that by 11,000 miles. So that's 28 cents per mile. Then I do the trailer payment, that's nine cents per mile. Then I do repairs and maintenance. I'd like to put away 10 cents a mile for repairs and maintenance. And then I do another miscellaneous at 10 cents per mile. So if I add all that up where I take my 10 cents miscellaneous plus 10 cents for repairs and maintenance plus 9 cents for the trailer plus 0.28 cents for the truck payment plus 0.18 for the insurance plus 65 cents for the driver's pay 50 cents for fuel which is our trucks for fuel you would get a dollar 90 per mile is my cost per mile very very important before you do any load booking that you know what your cost per mile is so you need to run the exact same scenarios with your actual expenses i just threw ballparks what i do know is our fuel chart is 100% accurate so I know that if our truck runs at 7.5 miles per gallon and the cost of fuel is three dollars and 75 cents which is the national average that we probably get right now with today's discount then it costs us about 50 cents per mile to run a truck now again we have some trucks in our fleet a lot of our trucks in our fleet actually do eight eight and a half and nine miles per gallon but we're gonna take the formula of 7.5 if you have one of those flat nose trucks those peats those old units your cost per mile is probably more expensive in fuel but you you won't have that truck payment where you're saving 28 cents per mile. So quickly guys, before I go into calling these brokers so you can watch me live how I book loads, I'd like to talk two minutes about why 
why why in the world why do i use dat that is our choice of load board here in the office i have tried a few other load boards and i really feel the reason why i like dat is because of the amount of volume of loads and how popular it is so every time i open up a posting there's always different shipments inside this posting so just like here right now i'm pulling out everything that has uh, everything that's going from atlanta georgia to to the gta here in canada there's a lot of shipments and i know for a fact that inter us it has even a lot more shipments so definitely the volume of loads is one of the reasons why i use it probably the most important reason why i use it the closing rates closing rates are actually really good when i do call on a posting especially on ltl it is very common that i will close the deal and i will get a confirmation number one because because of the reputation we have number two because people know who et transport is and also because i have used other load boards in the past and i felt like people were just hunting for rates and people were just you know but the closing rates were actually not that high so that's what i really like about dat the third thing i like about dat is how easy it is to navigate through so it's very very user friendly you know from one screen to another screen you can get to uh, you know one posting you can shuffle through postings you put a, you could put alarms for yourself uh, the whatever a new posting comes out that it'll uh, it'll ring so definitely like how user friendly it is the next most important thing for a carrier is the fact that this is interconnected and they have the person who's posting the load like you can actually see their credit history you could see you know how long they've been in business so if i go into you know here's some brokers that are posting if i click on champion express ltd i can actually click on them and get more data about them it'll tell me their insurance it'll give me some you know how long they've been in business who they're using who's their insurance company the insurance broker broker on file. It'll give me a lot of stuff about the actual broker. It'll tell me how many days it takes for them to pay their invoices. And it'll also give me their credit score. So very important for me as a carrier is I want to make sure that I get paid at the end of the day. If I see somebody here that's kind of fishy or has bad credit or, you know, is not to my liking, then I'll just skip over it. I'll just go to the next one because I really don't want to deal with collection problems. I really don't want to deal with somebody not paying for their loads. You should probably be aware that there is a lot of fraud that goes in our industry, whether it's double brokering, triple brokering. And that's why the importance of having a credit score and working with reputable companies out there. All right. So I'm sure you guys are all interested to see on how I book a load. So let's go ahead and call these people. So one thing that I do have set up on my computer is I do have the click to dial that is with our phone company 3CX we use a company that does all of our IT and they have our telephony that's attached to this office to this if I only knew what it was. I'm definitely not an IT guy, so I don't know how, but I do know that when I click this button over here, if I just hover over the person's phone number, I'll click it. And then in two seconds, my phone will actually start ringing and this number will dial. So really, really important. If you want, I can link, a link up, uh, you know, whoever sets up the service for me, I can link up their contact information below. It really helps when you are competing against other people. So definitely right now, you know, when a new load comes out or a new posting comes out, you want to be the first one to dial. And if you're dialing their phone number like we used to do probably 10, 15 years ago, you know, you're a lot slower than I would be when I just do the click to dial. So again, you know, anyone who's posting one of these loads. So let's go back into the posting. So I'll just go back into my trucks. I'll select the truck that I want, which is the Atlanta, Georgia to Concord, Ontario. And here are all the postings. I just want to see whoever's the closest to Atlanta, which is where our terminal is. So let's call the Calhoun, Georgia to Brampton. Hello. Hey, how are you? Great, you? Good, good. Ronan here, ET Transport. Uh, calling about those 18 skids that you have posted. This is the Georgia you're talking about. Yes. There's uh, two pickups, one in Suwannee, one in Atlanta, and it's going to uh, Toronto, Concord. Uh, okay, what is it? It's uh, general freight, nothing crazy like uh, sports equipment. Uh, 18 skids, they're stacked. It takes about 18 feet of trailer. 18 feet. What do you need for it? Suwannee. Hold on, I'm just routing it. Uh, Suwannee, Georgia, right? Suwannee and Atlanta, two picks, one drop. Okay, and where's the delivery? Concord. Awesome, okay, great. Uh, it's ready for today? Uh, yeah, you can pick it up today or tomorrow. Today is already too late. I think you're not gonna make it at closing at 4.30. What are, you, uh, what are you looking to pay on it? You tell me what you need. I got uh, a lot of people that want this freight, so I need to know where we need to be at that. Uh, realistically, two picks, one drop, probably looking about $2,200. 22, no, you're way over. It's nine skid spot, you know that, right? It's stacked. Right. So uh, I do, but there's two pickups. So Swanee and Atlanta. It's Swanee's like 40 miles northeast. 
Yeah, uh, and the then I gotta get the best I could do is around 16 on it. 16? No, I can't do 16. Come on, you making fun of me? What'd you say the weight was of the shipment? The weight was uh, 8,500. 85 and a first come first serve at both locations or doing an appointment anywhere no both locations first come first serve 8 to 4 30 at the pickup and 9 to 5 at the delivery so the delivery 9 to 5 do i make what do i just call and let them know when i'm arriving or you or, or you handle all that no 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 you uh, you're gonna call and set up an pickup appointment i mean just let them know you're coming that's the doing your delivery appointments or anything like that got it okay man meet me in the middle let's go 2000 send it over who's gonna do I sorry Best I can get, add another 150 bucks and that's it. 1750, I, I won't go a dollar more. If you want, you can have it. My if friend, not, come on, you got a carrier that you have, uh, I'll send you a tracker. You can track this thing all the way to Concord. Thank you very much. Everybody has trackers now. I get it, okay. Uh, I can, you, sorry. Okay, just throw I me can. another 50 bucks, I'll do it. I'll pick it up. Come you on, sure man, you can do it. Screw it up, two pickups you're gonna do tomorrow and you're gonna deliver it by Friday. Tomorrow is Wednesday and then Friday delivery. Yes, I have a departure on Wednesday. We'll deliver it by Friday. For sure, two picks. You can pick up tomorrow, 18th uh, feet of trailer, nine skid spot, and you're gonna deliver it by Friday. Yes. I'll send it to you for 1800. What's your email address? You can send it to dispatch at ettransport.ca. Okay, uh, it's coming over. Thank you. No problem, bye-bye. All right, so guys, 1800 bucks, nine skin spots. I could do this all day long. I mean, with a terminal in Atlanta, Georgia, now with a local driver that could pick up literally anytime, anything within a hundred mile service, you know, it's just a no-brainer for us. Two-day transit, you know, we, we're, we're starting out with three departures every single week. We have a Monday departure, a Wednesday departure, and a Friday departure. So now that we booked our first load, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I mean by, I love DAT. I love the fact that I just click the button, give the guy a call. Uh, we're usually, I mean, ET Transport's been around for 17 years so we're pretty much set up with almost everybody but yes i do stumble upon companies that we're still not set up with or uh, newer companies uh, that have to go through the approval process but if it's a company like this that's going to send me the confirmation we'll review the confirmation together but let's see if we can get one or two more shipments over here all right so the next phone call i'm going to make is the augusta georgia to mississauga can i help you hi how are you Hi, I'm doing great yourself. Good, good. Ronan here, ET Transport. I was calling about Hi. your posting. Yeah, I have one posted to Toronto. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Yeah, so the pickup is out of LaGrange, Georgia, going to Toronto. We have 10 skids. It's an OTL, not a full truck load. And the weight of it is 4,216 pounds. When does it need to pick up? Uh, well, it's ready. You can pick up at any time. And let me know when you can deliver so I can make arrangements. Also, what kind of equipment would you have for this? I have a 53 dry van. I can pick up tomorrow before lunchtime and then deliver it uh, tomorrow. Wow. I can deliver Friday. Unfortunately, this will not work for us. We need the straight truck. We need the straight truck. They have a dock, but there, I mean, there is not enough space at the receiver site. So you, I mean, a 53 dry, uh, dry van highway truck won't fit in there. Unless you can, if you have a dock, you can drop it somewhere else and then do uh, a switch or transload the shipment. But how about I bring it to my dock here in Concord, and then you can make the arrangements to pick it up, and then. Well, as long as you're delivering it on a straight truck, that will work for us. So you want me to coordinate the delivery for the straight truck, or do you want to pick it up and from my dock and then deliver it? Uh, no, 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 no. We have a shipment from Georgia back to Toronto, so we must pick up from Georgia and uh, deliver to Toronto. So if you can make any uh, arrangements to uh, for a crosswalk and to deliver on a straight track, that will perfectly work. Uh, other than that, I mean, Give me one. Won't work. No, that's fine. You, you must pick up and deliver. That's fine. Hold on. Let me uh, calculate the rate for you for delivery. So the delivery is going to cost about 400 and then I need another 14 to make it work. What's the weight of the shipment? The weight is 4,216 pounds. It's and it's all skidded. Okay. The standard size skid 4x4x4. Four by four by four, and we have 10 pieces, 10 skids. Got it. Okay. Uh, I can do it for 1,900. 19. Can you do any better? Uh, honestly, because of the delivery, I cannot because it's going to cost me at least $350 to deliver it with a straight truck. And you're saying, when can you pick up? When can you deliver? I can pick up tomorrow and then I'll deliver it on or before Monday. Before Monday. Okay. And um, the 1900 will include the straight truck, right? Arrangement for yes. the straight truck. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What I can do, I can just take down your phone number, just uh, clarify it on my end here, okay. all the details, and then I can get back to you and book ahead the shipment. No problem. Uh, you can send me an email at dispatch at ettransport.ca. If, yeah. if you can put attention Ronan on it, just let me know if you want me to proceed with this, okay? Perfect. Yeah, I'll send it over shortly. 
So am I am, I am I booking it because I need to reserve the um, the pickup well, for tomorrow? Well, not yet. I need to confirm the rate first. Okay. Because uh, uh, this is why I was asking you for a little bit lower rate. Well, and you're saying you have a dry van, not a tray truck, so you'll have to make an arrangement. That's why you're probably charging us extra for the. Arrangement. Well, no, I'm gonna pick it up on a, a on a 53 foot trailer. I'll bring it to my dock here in Concord, and then mm -hmm. I'll re-deliver it in a straight truck, like you asked me to. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Let me put you on hold for one quick second, right? Okay. Just to find out if the rate will work. Sure. One moment. Sure. Hi. Hey. Thanks for calling. Okay, so yeah, I did check and uh, 1900 will work. I can make that work for you. Sounds good. If you can send me the confirmation to dispatch mm -hmm. at ettransport.ca. Oh, perfect. I'll send it over shortly to you. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Thank bye you. Bye. Have a great one. Bye-bye. All right. And now let's call the Phoenix, Alabama. Let's see what that one is. Hello, Michael speaking. Hey, Ronan here, ET. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. I see you're posting a load here. Yeah, correct. I have a seven skids. Perfect. Can you give me some more information about it? Pickup, delivery, weight, dimensions? Yeah, so I have a pickup scheduled for 11.30 uh, a.m. for tomorrow. It is seven skids standard size, and the total weight is 14,000 uh, pounds and 600. 14,000 pounds for seven skids? Yeah. 2,000 pounds of skid, okay. When does it need to deliver? Uh, delivers any time. The hours are 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. Delivery. No so by appointment or just first come first serve? It's first come first serve. There's only an appointment for pickup. It's scheduled for 11:30. Scheduled for 11:30. Okay. What are you looking to move it for? I'm looking to be a roughly around 13 for this. 13? No, you got to do a little bit better than that. I can't make 13 work. It's 14,000 pounds. I can do it for 1350. Uh, Let's do. Uh, if you can send it to me for 14, just because you have a pickup. Uh, appointment tomorrow uh, for 14 and I'll get it delivered on Monday in Whitby and uh, we'll call it a 14. Can yeah, I can make 14 work. You can make 14 work? Yeah. You sound like you can make 17 work also. I don't know. No, no, no. 13 is uh, 13 is what I wanted, but I can make 14 work. Okay. Just because All right. it's over. All right. You have us uh, set up in your system. MC number 521228. Yeah, I have you here. Everything is good. I can send you the Raycon in just a few minutes. Got it. Dispatch at ettransport.ca if you could just put attention Ronin on it. Sounds good. Will do. No awesome. down. Perfect. Thank you. No problem. Bye-bye. Bye. So, okay, guys. So, in reality, it actually, um, I actually made about 15 or 20 phone calls for this. I only put on the video the ones that I actually booked. So, it took me a lot longer to find these three confirmations. So, yes, you know, I did get all three confirmations in my hand. It is extremely important to go over the confirmation in detail. So every single one of those loads that I just booked with you over the phone, I do have the confirmations here. Now, very, very important, it's to review the fact that the, the weight, the dimensions, whatever they gave you over the phone, I usually like to send a recap email when somebody's talking to me over the phone. I didn't do it in this video, but as I talk to people over the phone and book the loads, I will send a recap email to the person that I'm talking to, grab their email address and send them everything that we talked about. So the three confirmations that I have here are all LTL from Georgia going into Ontario. So this is something that's a new service that we are, have added to our portfolio. Again, three departures every single week. We're starting out with three departures every, sing, every single week. So anything moving from the Atlanta region going into Toronto or the GTA, ET Transport will serve, service those lanes. Now, as you can see here on my load board on my DAT, the, there's a lot of loads to choose from uh, when it comes to partials. When it comes to full loads, there's absolutely almost nothing available to choose from. So you're really grinding through a lot of loads in order to find these uh, um, LTL shipments uh, and it's much harder right now with the full load market. Full load market probably pays around, uh, you know, for this lane, probably pays about $2,000, $2,500 on a thousand miles. Very, very low rates. All right. So a few things that I wish, I wish, I wish that DAT had dispatchers out there. I mean, we are on our computers 24 seven. And if you're not on your computer, then you're on your cell phone. So the one thing that I, there's a few things that I don't like, but I think that, you know, these load boards can definitely improve if they had some sort of integration to WhatsApp, if they had some sort of integration to Teams. Phone calling, I feel like is, you know, a thing of the past. Nobody likes to phone call anymore. Everybody wants to text message. Nobody wants to be bothered with these phone calls into the into the office. I feel like, you know, a huge upgrade would be like a button here just to, you know, to, to, to message. I know that we, the whole office, we're about 50 people here and we're all on Teams Messenger. You know, some people like Teams, other people like Google, but the entire office is con connected in some sort of platform. And I feel like this platform 
platform, DAT, should be connecting just so we can send a message and not call. I have seen that feature once on a different load board. The problem is, is that nobody ever responds to those messages or the person that's posting the load is not actually the person that's responding. So I feel like the messaging application actually have to, has to be with the person posting the load. And then you know what? If the load has been booked, then he can take off the posting and nobody would message them anymore. So definitely uh, a messaging feature would be great. And then another feature would probably be, you know, a quick call and not, not routing through the actual office. So when somebody posts a load, then you have to route to the office and you have to wait for, you know, the answering machine or a receptionist to forward you to the right place or put in the extension. The guy, somebody never picks up the phone. I mean, there should be, you know, with today's technology, there's got to be some sort of, you know, somebody posts the load and it'll go directly to their line and not forwarded through the office line. So there's got to be a, a way to do that. And I think it would cut a lot of time and waiting time. I mean, for these three loads, I probably, I've been doing this probably for about an hour, an hour and a half to get these three loads. Whereas I feel it, there was so many phone calls that I made that nobody picked up the phone or I went to reception or went to an answering machine or the phone number here uh, is not the actual person or they routed me to a different number. Really, really important. I mean, when you, when you are booking your loads, I mean, definitely route the miles, definitely have your cost per mile. And then if you know that your cost is $1.90, just like in the mock that we did at the beginning, if a load pays you $1.80, $1.70, well, you're not really really willing to run at a loss, are you? Now, I know in today's market, there's a lot of people running at a loss, but hopefully this video gave you a little bit of insight on how to book a load, how to negotiate. Maybe I should do a full, co uh, you know, just a, a full video just on uh, negotiating freight rates with freight brokers. So don't be afraid to increase their prices. Or, you know, if you're on the other side, if you're a broker, don't be afraid to decrease prices. You got to play with the market and the market will dictate to you how much of leverage do you have to negotiate against these brokers or these trucking companies. You know, when, when we're doing LTL, I think uh, we here have the leverage a little bit more. When you're doing full loads, definitely the brokers have the leverage over. It also depends on the market. So as the market is not so great right now, these brokers are definitely, you know, riding the high horse and, and giving us carriers attitude and beating down our rates to literally, uh, you know, almost nothing. But it is what it is. And then when the markets are high, the markets are really high, then, you know, we do the exact same thing to them. So and I know that they were all complaining about the exact same thing. You know, when the market was really, really high, I mean, on the load board, I mean, I don't care. I, I'm not shy to ask for five, six dollars a mile. It is what it is. If that's the going rate, that's what I expect from a broker. And that's why I, I don't I, I don't hate on them for doing the exact same thing to us right now where they're beating us down for lower rates. But hopefully you learned how to book a load in this uh, in this video. And uh, I'm Ronan, R-O-N-E-N, and I'll catch you in my next video.